The future of the Florida Keys is hotter, wilder, and saltier. Sea levels are rising at an alarming rate. Homes are under increasing threat of flooding. And the area's vulnerability with its low-lying ecosystem is becoming greater each year. Will we be able to keep up? That's the question. You can see all the devastation here. These Scientist Chris Berg lives on the Florida Keys island of Big Pine Key, where he says the effects of the rising tide are evident. Its namesake, Big Pines, are dying off as salt water moves in. I mean, I've been living in this house for 20 years. I walk my dogs out from the high ground here out to the edge of the, the ocean. And you can see the pine trees dead. You can see them dying. You can see the mangroves moving in. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, sea levels along the Florida coast have gone up eight inches since 1950. Some estimates put that figure over 50 by 2070. So right now, uh, the sea is rising faster than it has for thousands of years. And it is only expected to get worse unless we get our greenhouse gas emissions, deforestation, and the other things that cause climate change under control. In July, the surface ocean temperature around the Florida Keys hit 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about as hot as a hot tub. NOAA says that temperatures like that could supercharge tropical storms and hurricanes as experts warn that the growing frequency and intensity of severe weather, both on land and in oceans, is a symptom of global, human-driven climate change that's fueling extremes. The corals are kind of our canary in the coal mine. They're Here's Florida Keys marine sanctuary biologist, Lindsay Cruz. When we use fossil fuels like coal, oil, and methane to drive our cars and power our homes and to do the things that we do, we increase the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So imagine you're outside in the Florida summer in a comforter. That's kind of what it's like right now with that extra carbon dioxide. And that creates warmer temperatures. And so warmer temperatures warm up the ocean. It causes things like coral bleaching. It causes the ocean to expand and increase in size, causing sea level rise. It causes ice caps to melt. Um, it can produce stronger hurricanes. So the, a warmer ocean can actually affect a lot of things in our Earth's climate system. There are efforts to mitigate the changes. Shorelines are being stabilized and buildings are getting propped up. Still, Berg worries it may not be enough. It's like watching you know, an ecosystem evolve and, and fast forward. It's something that we've never experienced as scientists, as people. Um, you know, we evolved on this planet, you know, for, for thousands of years with a much, much more stable climate. 